everyone, welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. Coming up for you today is some Barca news as there is plenty on the agenda. So much to discuss today. We're going to be talking about the next round of the Copa del Rey. Lionel Messi frustrated over rumours about his future. Gerard Piquet has hit out at Bartomeu. And we're also going to be discussing the injury latest. Roberto is out again. And the big, big news story, there's a setback. Fran Sufati, and the news is concerning. It's all coming up today, so let's get to it now. Come on. But let's start first and foremost with the Copa del Rey. I think we're all still feeling very, very good after that comeback victory against Granada on Wednesday and indeed this morning. The Copa del Rey draw has indeed been done. We know our opponents for the semi-final and it is going to be arguably the toughest opponent we could have got, Barca will face Sevilla, and that tie there will be coming over two legs, with the first leg coming on February the 10th, so that's just next Wednesday, and the second leg there coming on March the 3rd, so quite a gap there between those two legs, and could it indeed be significant that the second and return leg in that tie, it's going to be at the camp now, and in the other semi-final, it's Athletic Club, we avoided them in this stage, but could we meet them potentially in another final? Let's wait and see. But if we do indeed move on to that news surrounding Lionel Messi, and I didn't really want to discuss this immediately after that game against Granada, because quite frankly, matters on the pitch right now, that's our focus, that is our priority, it's our main concern, and nothing is going to take our attention away from that. But, rather predictably, PSG in particular seem absolutely desperate for our attention, and I once again go as far to say they're insistent, really, on fueling the rumour mill ahead of our champion. Champions League meeting against them in just a few weeks' time, as their sporting director spoke out a few weeks ago, and this time, it was the turn of Angel Di Maria, of course Messi's international teammate. He spoke after PSG's victory in the league on Wednesday, and when he was asked whether Messi could join Di Maria in Paris next season, Di Maria said the following. He said, yeah. He said, I hope so. He said, there's many possibilities, and we've got to be calm, and things will develop. And Di Maria there was very, very hopeful that Messi could indeed join Paris Saint-Germain. However, when those quotes were put to Ronald Koeman in the aftermath of the game against Granada on that very same evening, Koeman, he was not happy whatsoever. He said there, it seems to me like a lack of respect. He said it's wrong to say such a thing, especially ahead of our Champions League game against them. He said it's not fair and he said it's not respectful towards Barcelona to speak about a player who is ours. He said they seem to talk a lot about Leo. Koeman there could could not hide his frustration. He said exactly the same thing after Leonardo spoke a few weeks ago. And quite clearly here, the mind games ahead of that Champions League game they're underway. But I do want to make it absolutely clear, guys, that when it comes to Messi, nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed from his point of view. And you can see right here on the cover of Sport this morning, the big headline, Messi says enough. Messi apparently is very, very tired of the constant speculation there surrounding his future. And in particular, he's tired of the reports that link him to PSG. And he's got no part in these rumours whatsoever. And Messi's plan, it remains unchanged. He's always said, at the end of the season, my future will be decided. But right now, he's focusing on matters on the pitch. He's 100% committed to Barcelona, and of course he still wants to speak with the new president once they arrive in March. So for now, all of these rumours means nothing. I also do want to talk actually about Gerard Piquet, who was actually talking on Twitch yesterday. It was an interesting interview there about a wide ranging number of topics, but I want to talk in particular about the words that he had for the outgoing president, Bartomeu. And I'm really, really happy here again that Piquet has spoken out in public about what the players went through, and in particular, about the feelings he had of Bartomeu. Because when Piquet was asked there about whether player power exists at Barcelona, about whether it was true that the players dictated things and took leading roles in big decisions, Pique said, if we've ever had any influence, it's because they've asked us. He said, because those who should have made the decisions, they didn't make them. And instead, they delegated them. He said, in the end, we, the players, we're there to play football. And only football. He said, the less we have to decide, he said, it's better for everybody. He went on to say, I had a cordial relationship with Bartomeu. He said, I did tell him on more than one occasion to meet at the training ground. He said, but he never came. He said, in the end, it didn't go 
well and the club now is in the situation it is. He said, I believe, and of course PK here speaking as a president himself now, FC Andorra, he said, I believe that when you're the president of a club, you've always got to be there. You always have to show up and make decisions, no matter how hard they are to make. He said, you've got to solve problems. He said, because when you always delegate and then you delay them and don't make the decisions, he said, it all piles up. He said, I think there were specific moments where more leadership was needed and that just backs up everything we've said in the past about Bartomeu, about the lack of leadership, about sort of shouldering the responsibility there onto someone else and PK always wise words. But of course guys we do indeed have to move on now to the injury situation at Barcelona and there always seems to be an injury just around the corner for this team and in this case first of all it is a reoccurring one because we start here with Sergio Roberto who of course let's not forget on Wednesday against Granada he was making his very first start since he'd missed over two months with the injury that he suffered back in November and he only lasted 57 minutes before again he went down injured and had to be replaced by Serginho Des. Now yesterday the club officially confirmed that it's a right thigh injury for Sergio Roberto. It is a muscle problem and there's no timeline at all yet set for his recovery and his return. But early indications in the Spanish media, they say that Sergio Roberto, he's going to be out for at least another month. It looks like a pretty big injury once again, and it is a blow. Not only there to lose Roberto, but also for me, the extra pressure, the extra strain that it puts here on Serginho Dest, who for me has been overworked over these past few months. And of course, we're going to be looking once again to Oscar Mingueza to deputise when needed at right back. But by far and away, the big story from today, it is all surrounding Ansu Fati with many, many reports circulating. So I just want to clear up here exactly what is happening right now with his recovery. Because a few days ago, we did speak about Ansu and there was concern. There has been concern now for about a week or so with regard to Ansu from the club's doctors, from Ramon Kuga, who of course is the man in charge of that surgery on Ansu's knee. And all of this concern was basically surrounding Ansu's recovery, which hadn't really been progressing as we'd hoped, because it was kind of expected as though Ansu would be pushing to appear against Paris Saint-Germain at least in that second leg. So we were targeting their return at the very start of March, at the end of February. We were hopeful we'd be seeing Ansu back in the coming weeks. But... There's no chance of that. Right now, 100% ruled out to appear in the coming weeks because right now there have been murmurings in the Spanish media that Ansu Fati actually underwent a second operation two weeks ago. Now, right now, these reports are unconfirmed. There are people close to the club and close to Ansu who are denying the reports about these problems that Ansu may be suffering. But right now, what we do know is there is a problem there. He hasn't quite been progressing as expected. And apparently there's still swelling whenever he puts pressure, whenever he overloads on that knee, there is still repercussions for him. And I think what's important right now is that Ansu recovers. Whether he comes back here in March, April, May, we don't know. But all that counts here is making sure that he's 100% ready. And that's why if he has undergone a second operation, it's not ideal. By no means is it ideal. But I'd rather them find another problem now, rather than him come back and actually play and then relapse. Something like that happen. I would rather them find the issues now, sort them all out, make sure that he's ready. I'm sure that that he's going to have the end of the Champions League in mind if we make it that far. I'm sure he's going to be thinking about the Euros, but let's wait and see here how that recovery goes. But right now, concern, like I say. And I would like to hear some official news from the club here to put to bed these rumours or to just set the record straight on exactly where Ansu lies right now. So that right there, guys, is the news on Barca as it stands. We are still feeling good, like I say, but I am disappointed there with that Ansu news. I do want to see him back on the field. And of course, such an exciting player, such a brilliant, brilliant young player. He deserves to be playing football right now. And I really do hope that he can recover 100% and as soon as he possibly can. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. And of course, also let me know your thoughts on all the other news that we have discussed. In particular there, those messy, PSG rumours which continue to surface. I myself cannot see him at Paris Saint-Germain, but what do you think? And of course, we're going to have all the build-up ahead of Barca against Betis. Another big game and another match we'll go into, hoping to continue our winning run. I will see you soon, guys, and I thank you indeed for your excellent support. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Uh -huh.